Which advice would you give to trainers who use your model? <laughs> um. Live it first before you teach it. Uh, make sure that it, it's not a mental, the, the, the danger of the core board is the mental construction. So make sure that people can experience their quality, that they, they know how it feels if you are, when you are in balance, these, these rare moments where you are in the middle of the, of the quadrants. So the worst thing that people can do is that they focus too much on the content. The words have to fit. That's the mental part. But the experience of the concord, that you can really appreciate yourself for, for, your, you know, for the beauty that you have in your qualities, that's the most important thing. The mental part is, helps, but it's, it's only a part, it's only a small part. So that's one thing. And the second thing is, and I say this every day, the world is not waiting for people who know their core qualities. <laughs> the world is waiting for people who know themselves. And that, that knowledge helps them to take responsibility uh, and helps them to make choices that contribute to this planet. Because if your awareness about yourself does not make you take responsibility, what's the point? <laughs> What's the point in, in finding out this stuff about yourself? So awareness is fantastic, but awareness, when you take no responsibility, uh, for me it's useless. So help people to wake up, find out who they are, become more aware, and take responsibility. That would be my message to everyone who works with this. My dream is that this process of finding out who you are starts at primary school. It starts with children at the age of 9, 10. You can teach core coordinates to children of 10 years old. And uh, the, the earlier you get interested in your, you know, your own development, the better. It is just sad to see that you know, people, some people uh, only find out these things about themselves when they're 55. <laughs> this should be part of our educational system. So that's why I also wrote a children's book with Albert Heymeyer, just to help kids to get interested in this kind of stuff. So 20 is too late. I mean, so start at set 8, 9, 10 years, and then you lose them a few years when they go into puberty, but they come back. <laughs> So it's sowing seeds at an early age. Uh, so it's important that teachers know this stuff about themselves and about their kids. And, and there's no job more important, I think, than teaching, teaching children. So that's where it belongs. Uh, how can we implement the core quality system in the educational system? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we have done uh, pilot uh, programs in schools, uh, helping teachers to, to first of all apply it to themselves, just like you know, with, with trainers and, and professionals, the same is true for teachers. You can only teach this if you apply it to yourself. If you don't know this in yourself, if you don't know your allergies and your pitfalls, and, your, and then teachers cannot teach it to, to the kids. So it, it, that's why it is so important that it becomes an integral part of our educational system. I don't know when, but I'm, I'm, I'm convinced that we, we will, uh, in, in, in the future generations, we will spend more time to find out who we are. It's, it's inevitable. The moment I realized the, the, the beauty of the core quadrant, I knew it would go all over the planet. My question just was, will I be, will I be part of that? <laughs> so far, a little bit, yeah. and I hope it will go very fast, but there's no way we can plan it. We'll have to see. Okay. 
Thank you very much, Daniel, for your time, your dedication, and your your passion for the core quadrants and everything around it, especially for the philosophy behind it. I wish you all the best. Thank you.